Good morning and welcome back to Church of the Messiah on a Pasquiac Cree Nation in beautiful northern Manitoba. Today's Cree hymns service for July 5th will feature hymns with our wonderful organist Ken Laughlin and some reading from the Disciples Prayer Book. So let's begin with our opening prayer. Creator, we give you thanks for all you are and all you bring to us for our visit within your creation. In Jesus, you place the gospel in the center of this sacred circle through which all creation is related. You show us the way to live a generous and compassionate life. Give us your strength to live together with respect and commitment as we grow in your spirit, for you are God now and forever. Amen. Our first song is number 55. gathering psalm of praise, you can read along as we do Psalm 51. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our next hymn we'll sing is number 43.
last few weeks, we've been having songs and messages from people in our community. And today, just wanted to highlight um, gospel-based discipleship. We've been using this disciples prayer book for many meetings and gatherings over the last number of years. And many people are, are gathering together in their homes or even online and doing prayers and Bible readings together. And what we do when we do gospel-based discipleship is as a group, we read the gospel of the day three different times. And three different times after the reading, we reflect and share um, answering these three different questions. The first, what words, ideas, or sentences stand out for you in the gospel of the day? Then you read again and ask, what is Jesus of the gospel saying to you? And once more you read and ask, what is Jesus the gospel calling you to do? And these questions remind us that the scriptures are actually really important in our own growth our spiritual growth and understanding, and that Jesus speaks to us through the scriptures, and the gospel speaks to us and calls us to transformation as we read it daily. And as we read it in community, it's wonderful because we get to hear what other people are hearing in the gospel and what Jesus is saying to other people. And so I'm going to read the gospel appointed for Sunday or a portion of it, and maybe if you're with a group of people listening and singing along to this Cree hymn service, maybe after I read the gospel, you pause and you answer one or more of these questions. If something jumps out at you or you feel the Spirit saying something to you through the gospel, share that with the people around you. And if you're by yourself, just take some time to reflect and listen to what the Spirit is saying to you through the words of the gospel, because Jesus speaks to us through the gospel. And so the gospel for, our, for Sunday, uh, July 5th, is from Matthew chapter 11. The first portion is 16 to 19, and then reading from 25 to 30. And I'm gonna read it here through the Good News, Good News Bible, and um, you can follow along. Matthew 11, verses 16 to 19, and then 25 to 30. This is Jesus speaking. So Jesus said, Now, to what can I compare the people of this day? They are like children sitting in the marking place. One group shouts to the other, We played wedding for music for you, but you wouldn't dance. We sang funeral songs, but you wouldn't cry. When John came, he fasted and drank no wine, and everyone said, He has a demon in him. When the Son of Man came, he ate and drank, and everyone said, Look at this glutton. He's a glutton and a wine drinker, a friend of tax collectors and other outcasts. God's wisdom, however, is shown to be true by its results. At that time, Jesus said, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, I thank you because you have shown to the unlearned what you have hidden from the wise and learned. Yes, Father, this is how you are pleased to have it happen. My Father has given me all things. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and those whom the Son chooses to reveal to him. Come to me, all of you who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke and put it on you and learn from me because I am gentle and humble in spirit and you will find rest. For the yoke I will give you is easy and the load I put on you is light. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We'll continue by singing number 96. Thank you.
In gospel-based discipleship, after we've shared our thoughts from the gospel of the day, together we respond with the Apostles' Creed and prayers. So we can say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his brothers, sisters, and friends in the language that Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We'll sing together our final hymn, number 84. 84. Thank you for joining us once again for this uh, Cree hymn service. And if you're interested in uh, a Disciples Prayer Book, you can download one of them um, onto your phone or your tablet 
from the Anglican web, Church website, or you can order one from the Anglican Church. You can contact uh, me, Kara Mandrick, at Henry Bud College for that. Um, it's a wonderful resource for home and family prayers. And we'll finish our service together with a blessing. May the peace that passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the love and knowledge of God our Father and Jesus Christ, his Son, our Savior. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with us all wherever we are. Thank you and have a blessed week.